Hi there, my name's Sarah. This guided healing meditation is going to be helpful for you if you've suffered with any kind of adult relationship abuse and subsequent trauma. So I just want you to find a comfortable seat or come to lie down. Make sure you feel warm. Make sure you're undisturbed. Cover yourself in blankets. Feel free to use a pillow. And gently just bring yourself into a position where you feel you can start to release and let go. Coming to focus into your breath, breathing in and out through your nose if you can today, slowly and deeply. Just gently and softly becoming aware of the breath. Becoming aware of the rise and fall of your belly as you breathe. And starting to feel as you relax that you can let go in the joints of your shoulders, into your hips. Letting go into your back and into your front. Letting go through the head, through the arms and the legs. Releasing any tension in your body as you breathe and feeling that you can sink back through the body and feel held and supported into the earth. Say to yourself in your mind or out loud, letting go, letting go, I'm letting go. See if it's possible just to make some space between the thoughts in the mind. Allowing your breath to be your guide, your anchor into a calmer, more relaxed state of mind as you lie or sit here now. Feel that any busy thoughts, any challenging thoughts can just release from the mind through the back of the head and down into the earth. Imagine that you can just press the pause button for a little while on any worries and problems that are spinning in your mind. Letting go, letting go, letting go. And we're gonna call on angelic energy angelic healing for support for you now. So I want you to imagine a pillar, a beam of a beautiful white light pouring down through the crown of your head, right down through the column of your neck, down through the column of your spine, through your seat, down between your legs and out through your feet. This pillar of white light is bringing a calming, a soothing, a nurturing energy a healing energy that is going to help you to align into a place of peace, a place of self-love and a place of compassion for you, for the person that you are right here and right now. And then I want you to imagine that beautiful pillar of light that's gone down through the column of your body is expanding at your heart, at the centre of your chest. And here, it's turned to a really beautiful pink light. 
it's expanding through your chest, through your heart chakra. And this pink light is bringing a softening, a soothing, a healing to your heart and to the wounds that you may be feeling there today. Letting go, letting go, letting go in the heart. And exhale. Asking the angels, the divine light, and this beautiful pink light at your heart to bring healing and soothing, nurturing energy to all that you have suffered. All the hurt that you have felt. All the betrayal that you are having to come to terms with. And all the cruelty and darkness that you may have witnessed in your life. Knowing that this meditation will just help to soothe and calm and bring a nurturing healing energy to those wounds. Bringing light to the dark. Now there is no one more important in the world right now than you. There is no one else that needs love more than you right now. It may feel to you that in the past you haven't been able to fully love yourself. Perhaps you allowed much that did not align with love to enter into your life. And that energy that did not align with love came in time to hurt you. Letting go now of any shaming of yourself about any energies of darkness or betrayal or cruelty that have come into your life. Just letting go of any shame. Letting go of any guilt. Letting go of anything you feel that is critical or judgmental towards yourself. Instead, reminding yourself that everything that happened to you was not your fault. And that all you wanted was to open your heart to receiving love. And that can never be a mistake. What it's time to do now is to bring healing to your heart and to love yourself enough to put boundaries in place, to be more discerning, more careful, more cautious and more willing to push someone away if it feels there may be cause to be concerned that they may hurt you or treat you unkindly, cruelly or betray you in any way. It's okay to push people away. It's okay to be careful. 
And what's important now is that you love yourself enough to look after yourself well, to look after your well-being properly. So we're going to work with the angels now to bring some boundaries to yourself and to your life. It could be that at some point when you suffered abuse and trauma, you quite literally allowed someone in through the door of your home and they misused that invitation to hurt you in some way. So this meditation is going to heal any time in the past that that has occurred and to help to strengthen you so that you don't let that happen again. So I want you to imagine yourself now inside your home. I want you to imagine yourself inside your favourite room inside your home or perhaps it's a home that you had in the past or if you need to you can imagine a place that you're going to create in your mind a fantasy home where you can feel safe So I want you to imagine yourself relaxed, perhaps sitting on a chair or the sofa or lying in your bed, comfortable, warm. There's plenty of light, the sun is shining, it's quiet. There's no one there with you. It's a completely safe, sanctuary inside this home just for you. So use your imagination to see pictures on the walls, colours, rugs, blankets, cushions, perhaps there's a fire burning in the corner. Noticing the curtains and the ceiling any plants. Perhaps you have pets. Just really feeling this lovely space that's just for you, your home. Now I want you to feel completely safe here. So you're going to get up from wherever you're sitting and lying and you're going to go to the front door. I want you to take a key and imagine that you're locking that front door securely. And today the front door has extra locks, so you're using those to bolt and lock as many as you wish around the door. So the door is now securely bolted. You're then going to go to the back door and you're going to do the same. You're going to bolt it and lock it as many times as makes you feel completely safe and secure. you to walk to any windows and do the same. Going up to every window and bolting it and locking it. Take your time to move through the rooms of the house, bolting and locking all the windows as you go. You're creating a safe haven for yourself. You're creating a sanctuary for yourself where you can heal from all that's gone before. 
take your time going into every room bolting and locking all the windows when you're done you're going to go back to the room where you were sat before or lie down and get really comfortable once again a sofa, a chair, the floor or perhaps your bed so you can now feel sure that your home is impenetrable no one can get in so you can now relax Feel undisturbed and know that you are safe to let go in your body and in your mind. We're then going to call in the angelic energies and outside the house they are going to take their own beautiful golden thread of protection. And they are going to begin wrapping it around your house. They're going to start at the front door and they're going to move all the way around the outside of the building. All four sides, all four corners, wrapping this golden thread around. This golden thread is illuminated and radiating a beautiful protective light of gold. It's moving around, they're going to keep going until every door, every window, every entry point is surrounded by this beautiful golden thread of light moving up from the floor all the way up through the building until it reaches the roof. Perhaps they'll even wrap the thread around the chimney So the whole of your home is now surrounded by this protective thread of light. And we're going to ask Archangel Michael now to stand outside the front door with his sword and with his shield. He's here to protect you. Now inside your house, you are completely safe. And what you've done is you've created a haven, a sanctuary for yourself that is free of abuse. And you can begin to heal. Feeling that now what you've created here inside your home is a place where you can really look after yourself. You can love yourself and that you can begin to grow and evolve and learn slowly in time, carefully and cautiously, how to protect yourself from harm. Now if, as you're sitting or lying here in your home, if you have any fears that any person might be outside trying to get in, I'm just going to call on Archangel Michael to use his sword and shield to warn off anyone who might be trying to enter anyone who might be trying to cause you harm. We're going to ask that Archangel Michael uses his angelic light to wrap around anybody who may be trying to enter your sanctuary and that by using his beautiful angelic light you will again be free of abuse and you can slowly begin to heal your trauma. You are safe.
and feeling here inside your home that you can really learn how to look after yourself. That you can really begin to feel that great, powerful love for yourself. That means that no matter who comes close, who tries to get in through the door, you will not open it. Feel that you can slowly get yourself to a place where you can trust that part of you that is strong, that part of you that is capable of protecting yourself, that part of you that loves yourself so much that you will never again open the door to anyone who has been unkind to you, who has spoken or acted cruelly towards you, you will never open the door again to anyone who has hurt you. And that you do not have to open that door to anyone until you are sure that they are kind and good natured in their character. So making yourself a promise inside this safety house now, this angelically protected home, that you are going to love yourself first, protect yourself first and be kind to yourself first before you ever consider unlocking and opening that door again. So a deep sense of forgiveness now to yourself for the wounds and the traumas that allowed that abuse to occur in the past. Forgiveness for yourself. For any way in which you betrayed yourself. A letting go of shame. and a letting go of anyone who has shamed you with words or actions that made you feel at fault for anything that has happened to you in the past. And a letting go of guilt. Instead, feeling a strength in everything you are learning, everything you have learnt, and all the knowledge and wisdom that you are gaining as you heal. Feeling that here now inside your angelic house of protection and safety, that you are making a new start you can draw a line on everything that's gone before and make a promise to yourself that you're going to love yourself so fully and so completely, even if that means spending much more time here in this safety house alone That's what you're going to do. Making a promise to yourself now that here in this angelic house of protection and safety, 
Today is a fresh start, a new start. Letting go of all the hurt and abuse from the past. And stepping into a new timeline where you are aligned with self-love, self-protection, self-compassion. A deep trust in your ability to keep yourself safe from now on. So just allow yourself to rest now, knowing that your home is a safe place to be, surrounded by this beautiful golden thread of angelic protective light, knowing you can call on Archangel Michael any time to stand outside your door. And knowing that all you have to do to protect yourself from harm is never open that door again. Strong boundaries. A strong sense of self-protection. A strong sense of self-love.